Next, let's look at some examples. And I think uh, this is a great way to learn how to do this by looking at some real world examples. So here we have a case of a very simple idea, which is analysis of variance, ANOVA. And we have a reference here. But this is so common, we don't need to have a reference. So the correct way is do not have the reference. Don't need it. When would you have it? Special case. The paper is focused on the statistic. It's being used in a special or different way. Besides that, um, you know, we don't need to reference it, so that saves you a lot of trouble. And I've seen a lot of student thesis do this, a lot of student researchers do this, where they'll keep citing someone who did an F test or a T test or uh, a structural equation model to say that they did it and I'm doing it their way. Well, unless it's a very special way, you don't need to do that at all. The one-way analysis of variance, F equals MS sub T divided by MS sub T, indicated no effect of the different types of training. And of course, what we have here is, why is this wrong? Because you're actually explaining what is the analysis of variance test. That's a little bit um, strange. You don't need to tell how the test is conducted or what the formula for the test is if it's a common test, which in this case it very much is. So the correct way to do this would be just skip over that. A one-way analysis of variance indicated no effect of the different types of training. So we don't include it at all. We just go ahead and say the sentence very clearly. The animals that were raised in a group environment made more social choices mean equals 16.8 standard deviation 1.6 then did the animals that were raised in isolation mean 10.6 standard deviation 0 0.3 comma t38 which is the t test equals 4.8 with a probability of 0 0.001 here what we have is the sd is the standard deviation the m is the mean capital m sd in the italics that's correct but here what we have is this subscript for the t-test, which the correct way to write that would be t parentheses 38, meaning the degrees of freedom related to the sample size. So here's the t-test. So if I want to look it up in a table, that's 38, but you don't use a subscript. Testing in their native language led to higher scores, x bar, which means mean, right, equals 84, standard deviation 3.6, I think right away we can see some problems here. So the correct way to write this would be to avoid the X bar, the mean. We would write the capital M italicized for mean. Standard deviation you can see is capital SD with the letters angled, which makes a lot of sense. Oops, switch over here. Which makes a lot of sense, the SD. And down here we have the M and the SD again, and the T also with the degrees of freedom there, and the P. So P probability is a small p, and they're all italicized or angled, a good way to remember it. But do not go using the X bar. Table one contains the mean number of experiences reported by the respondents in each of the eight groups that, co that compose the two by two by two design. The analysis of variance indicated a significant effect of dairy keeping with F test of 1 divided by 92 equals 5.1 probability 0 0.1. And what we have here is a little bit of an error that's hard to see, but it's this F test here. This 1 divided by 92 doesn't make a lot of sense, of course. That's not a normal, not a normal way to notate, notate an F test at all. And the way to do that is to have the 1 and 95 here with a comma in it. So this is how you look up the statistic in the F statistic table. So you need to have these numbers to look it up. So I don't think people would normally make that mistake, but you never know. The best way to make sure you're writing your F test or T test or your regression parameters correctly is to check the journal you're targeting or to check with your professor on the normal way that it's accepted to write it or just check published papers that are in your area. I mean, you must have read a lot of papers to write your thesis, so keep with that. And this is a good example. Easy to make that mistake. 
The problem is once you make that mistake once, you tend to copy yourself and boom, all of a sudden you've made it you know, 50 times, which is really troublesome.